hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error whenever you try to start your kali linux machine in virtualbox it shows about it and shows up an error over here you can see ver nem not available vtx is disabled so we are unable to use kali linux on our virtualbox and that is because virtualization is currently disabled on our machine now to confirm that hold ctrl shift escape key and it should open your tax manager click on performance and then click on your cpu and you see virtualization down here you can see our machine supports hyper v virtualization but it is currently disabled so we have to go to our bios and enable virtualization so we can close this close virtual box now go to settings on your computer and then scroll down to recovery over here click on recovery now we are going to restart into recovery mode so we are going to click on restart now now click on troubleshoot and then click on uf5 firmware settings now restart now this may look different depending on the pc you're using so i'm actually using the dell pc that's why you can see it this well so you can see the virtualization support so let's click on virtualization and then enable intel virtualization technology now this may be different depending on the pc you're using now we can apply this change by clicking on apply and then exit so it will restart and virtualization is now enabled on our pc now after turning on virtualization in our bios we can hold ctrl shift escape again go to performance and under our cpu you can see virtualization is now enabled now we can close this and then run VirtualBox. Now let's start our Kali Linux machine again. And you can see it is now responding. So if you get an error, all you need to do is enable virtualization on your computer and you should be able to boot into Kali Linux without any issues. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.